What do we know about repeated DNA behavior or function? So we've identified satellite DNAs. We say they're highly repeated. Now we know about ribosomal RNAs. They hybridize to the moderately repetitive region. So what do we know about repeated DNA behavior or its function? Let's take a look. Microsatellite sequences, these are very highly repeated, and they're associated with centromeres. They're also a major part of heterochromatin. In centromeres, they help to form the kinetochore during mitosis and meiosis. So microsatellite DNA has a function, apparently, to anchor microtubules on the spindle fiber to help pull the chromatids apart during either mitosis or meiosis. There are many satellite sequences. These are sequences that are a bit longer than microsatellites, but also highly repeated. They are spread out in the genome, so they don't focus on one part of the genome. They don't code for anything, and in fact, most are of unknown function. Um, one exception may be sequences in the telomeres, and we already know the telomeres serve to maintain chromosome length during mitosis. An interesting thing about mini satellites is we each have different numbers of these mini satellites, and because we have different numbers, we can use them for DNA fingerprinting. Okay, so I said transposons are repeated. They repeat because they can copy themselves and jump into many often random sites in the genome. And it turns out that transposons are part of the middle repetitive or middle cut value uh, DNA. So here's a table that summarizes the types and some characteristics of repetitive DNAs. Now this is very small. I don't expect you to look at this and stare at it in, in a classroom, but please look at it and you can compare transposable elements, ribosomal RNA genes, transcribed genes, the introns of genes, the DNA between genes, and satellite DNAs. Those are the major types shown here. And the table shows you which of these categories of, of uh, DNA are highly repetitive, moderately repetitive, or, or more or less unique. It gives you some examples and tells you some functions where we know.